Hey guys, Angus here. Today we got the accuracy test of the Colt licensed full metal M4A1 Airsoft AG. It's a pretty nice gun. Like I said, got that full metal construction on it. If you're interested in watching a review of the product, there will be an annotation right here. And if you're interested in purchasing this gun, there is a link down below in the description to airsoftstation.com where you can buy this exact gun for about $170. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and get into a couple details of the accuracy test. Number one, we have our 8.4 volt, 1100 milliamp nunchuck battery that comes with the gun charged up and inside its handguard. As for what BBs we'll be shooting, we're going to be firing 0.25 gram BBs, not out of the 300 round included high capacity magazine, but instead out of King Arms 110 round M4 mid capacity magazines, just to see how this gun feeds with them. Mid capacity magazine and Magpul are not included with this gun when you purchase it. Just testing them out. The target we'll be shooting at is about two feet by a foot and a half. So rather small target, maybe the size of a man's shoulders and upward if you were shooting at a real target in the field. And really, that's all we're going to be saying. Let's go ahead and get to the accuracy test of the Colt licensed full metal M4A1. All right, so getting into the actual shooting part of the accuracy test, we're going to go ahead and take a couple of shots at our first distance here of 50 feet. One thing I did neglect to mention in the opening statement was that our hop-up is adjusted for this accuracy test. So let's go ahead and see if we can hit this target at 50 feet. Semi-automatic, no trouble. Let's go full auto. And as you can see, full auto at 50 feet, again, absolutely no trouble. That should be standard for really any gun. Let's back up to around 85 feet. All right, so we're now back at our second distance of about 85, 90 feet. Let's go ahead and see if we can hit this target semi-auto. All right, so as you can see, semi-auto at 90 feet. It seems that some of the BBs are just catching the bottom corner of that target, seem to be curving down a slight bit. Some of them just whizzing by what we do have a good amount of hits on that target. Let's go full auto. As you can see, full auto around 90 feet. We're getting some good groupings on there. Uh, even if it's just one BB coming into contact with that target, it's still a hit, that player would still be out. So good accuracy at 90 feet. Let's back up to our final distance of around 130. All right, so we're now back at our final distance of about 135 feet, farthest distance we're gonna try today. Let's go ahead, and see if the Colt licensed M4A1 can actually hit this target semi-automatic up first. All right, so 135 feet on semi-automatic, uh, decent accuracy as you can see, especially out here with the stock M4. A couple hits on it, a couple ones just veering right over top of it or right to the side, but decent accuracy, some decent groupings. Let's try full auto. And we're out of BBs, so I only got a you know a decent amount of ammo downrange on that target. That's two magazines we've gone through in this accuracy test. First burst of full auto there. You get a couple hits coming into contact with it. Again, as I said earlier, even if it's just one, that player's still out. So you get a decent burst of BBs hitting the target. Let's go ahead and go to the final conclusion. All right, so now for the final conclusion of this accuracy test. 50 feet. Any gun's really going to hit 50 feet. The Colt licensed M4A1 is no exception. Semi-automatic, five shots, wham, 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 done. Full auto, going to light up the target, and pretty much anything in your, in your way at 50 feet is not going to stand a chance against this M4. Uh, something I'd like to comment on about that, being that this gun is only shooting around 370 as I chronoed it, uh, you should be able to take this into CQB if you really wanted to. Go ahead, take some people out at those closer distances. Moving backwards to 85, 90 feet, semi-automatic, we're seeing some pretty good accuracy. 
got uh, the majority of the hits on there, a couple of misses straying off to the sides. I did notice on that specific distance, some of the BBs seem to be curving down a bit, touching just the bottom right corner of the target. Uh, not really sure what that was about, but could be something with the hop up. Moving on to full auto at that distance, again, you know, you get some decent amount of hits on the target there. As long as it's one BB coming into contact with the target and still hit, that player would be out. 135 feet, couple hits on semi-automatic, not too many. Some of them just veering off to the side, just going over the top, hitting the fence post. So decent groupings and pretty good accuracy there. Full auto, sorry, only got off a burst. Uh, we saw a couple EVs coming into contact with the target. The other one's just going over the top, which is something I don't like about the gun. The BBs don't exactly stray and stay in a 100% straight line. Once they get around 90, 100 feet out there, they split apart into just, you know, a cloud. And, you know, it's not 100% the most consistent accuracy out there. So with that being said, guys, I think this is a pretty accurate gun uh, for what you get. The M4 hop-ups are usually all right. They're not the best. You do see a decent amount of range and accuracy out of this gun. And really, it's a nice gun. If you're looking for a beginner gun to go out and play woodland games with, this is a pretty nice gun stock. So with that being said, this has been Death Cray Airsoft's accuracy test of the Colt licensed M4A1 Airsoft AEG. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.